Creating a saved view. Now that you have changed many of the settings relative to the view, to preserve all these, it is a great idea to create a saved view. A saved view is a view definition. It includes the level display for both the active model and references, the clip volume, and other view attributes. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will learn create a saved view. Continuing in the proposed site plan DGN file, from the View tab in the Save Views ribbon group, pick Create Saved View. Take note, a saved view is a view definition which includes the level display for both the active model and references, the clip volume, and other view attributes. Go ahead now and set the following options in the Tool Settings window. For the method, from View. For the view type, general. In the name field, type subdivision. In the clip volume drop down menu, select subdivision and enable the option associative. Bringing your cursor into the view, issue a data point into the view to save the view. Take note work has been proceeding in a rotated view. A view can be unrotated as desired by setting view rotation to unrotated. Along the view control toolbar, select the rotate view tool. In the tool settings window, select unrotated from the drop down menu. The view returns to its default orientation. Open the view attributes dialog and set the following. For the display style, wireframe, and disable the clip volume. Next, we're going to apply the subdivision save view. From the save views group, pick apply save view. Ensure that the subdivision save view is selected in the drop down of the tool settings window. And then click into the view to apply the save view. During this lesson, you learn to create a saved view. So, where do you go from here? Be sure to log in to the Bentley Learn server at learn.bentley.com. Here, you will find a wealth of learning paths for all of our software products. The next course in the learning path, the MicroStation Connect Edition Basics for Civil Designers, is using general tools. Covered in this course will be the mouse, tool settings, snaps, element creation, change element attributes, element properties, element selection, measuring, and more. So enroll and immerse yourself in using general tools. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.